So in question number three, we're given this scenario where there's a professor, he has grades, and it says, what kind of plot could the professor make? Well, um, this is basically a vocabulary question. Remember that a box plot looks something like this, and this doesn't tell you what the variable is. The variable is what's down here underneath it on a number line. Well, that's a huge giveaway here. Because in order for this to be a box plot, you would have to have numbers as your data, and these are letter grades. And these letter grades right here are not numbers, so box plot comes off the table, not a valid option. Well, a time plot, well, if you're going to do a time plot, time plot involves time. None of these grades, yes, the grades happen over a period of time, but he didn't record when the grades happen. So we can say, no, this would not be appropriate. Um, a dot plot. So a dot plot, again, is when you start seeing something like this. But then we have to remember the dot plots that we've seen and made in class also involved a number line right here. So that means that the dot plot comes off the table. It's not an option. So now we're left with pie charts and histograms. So a pie chart is where you have your circle, it gets cut up into different segments, and then you report out on what the different percentages are. Um, that might work for this, um, but let's also take a look at a histogram. The histogram is where you have these bars, and there's never allowed to be any gaps between the bars, and they're all the same width. And remember, the height of the bar is the count of that bar. Well, again, this is a number line right here, and our data that we were asked to keep track of is not numbers. So E, not an option. So that means our correct answer is D.